Hello everyone, this is Learning with Michelle, and today we are going to be doing questions 23 to 31 of the 2022 Grade 4 Mathematics Day exam for New York City. So let's get straight into it. For number 31, it says brownies are sold at a bake sale. Three pans of brownies are for sale. Each pan has five rows with five brownies in each row. Each brownie is sold for $2. How much money is made when all of the brownies are sold? So if there are three pans of brownies and each pan has five rows with five brownies in each row and each brownie is worth $2. That means that in each pan there are 25 brownies because five times five equals 25. If each brownie is worth $2, that means 25 times two equals 50. And that's for one pan. For three pans, you need to multiply 50 times three to get you 150. So $150 are made when all the brownies are sold. That leaves us with answer choice D as the correct answer. Let's move on to the next question. For question 24, it says, what is the measure in degrees of an angle that represents one fourth of a complete circle? So a circle is 360 degrees. You have to multiply 360 times one fourth. And there you get 360 over 4 if you multiply the numerators and denominators. After that, you just do 360 divided by 4, which is 90. So the measure of a, a one fourth circle is 90 degrees, which is answer choice C. Let's move on to the next question. So for number 27, it says, what is the value of 7,839 times 9? Here you have to multiply 7,839 times 9. 9 times 9 is equal to 81. You put a 1 up um, down here and you carry the 8. 3 times 9 is 27. 27 plus 8 that's equal to 35 and um you put the five down and you carry the three eight times nine is 72 72 plus three is 75 you put a five down here and carry the seven seven times nine is 63 63 plus seven is 70 so you are left with the answer 70,551 which is answer choice b Let's move on to the next problem. Which figure appears to be a right triangle? So right triangles, they measure, I mean, right triangles are triangles that have one side measuring 90 degrees. So 190 degree angle triangle. So for A, you have these three, oops, you have um, these three measures. None of them are 90 degrees. A 90 degree angle would be like this. It's, so these are both acute angles and the third one's also acute, which means it's less than 90 degrees. So it is not a good answer. For B, you have this angle, this angle, and this angle. These two angles are acute angles because they don't measure 90 degrees. And this is an obtuse angle because this is more than 90 degrees. So B is not a correct answer. For C, you have this angle, this angle, and this angle. 
these two are acute angles, and this is a right angle. Be, I mean, you could see the square instead of the circles that I put for these angles, which represents 90 degrees, but also because um, if you use a protractor, this is 90 degrees, so C is a possible answer. For D, we have this angle, this angle, and this angle. This is an acute angle. This is also an acute angle. And this one is also an acute angle. So they are all less than 90 degrees, so D is not a correct answer, which leaves us with answer choice C. Let's move on to the next problem. So for 31, it says Mr. Jonas ordered a pizza to take home. His children ate four eighths of the pizza and Mr. Jonas ate two eighths of the pizza. The remaining pizza was saved for later. Which equation could be used to represent the whole pizza? So basically, the children ate four eighths of the pizza, and Mr. Jonas ate two eighths of the pizza, and the rest was saved for later. So um, four eighths plus two eighths, that's six eighths. So six eighths was eaten, and there's two eighths left to represent the whole pizza. So let's see which equation shows this properly. Yeah, these are all equal to one, so right now we have all four answer choices. Two eighths plus three eighths plus four eighths equals one. Two plus five, two plus three is five. Five plus four is nine. Nine eighths, it's not even equal to eight, to one. And there's no three eighths in this entire equation. I mean, and this entire word problem, so it's not a correct answer. For B, it says 1 eighth plus 2 eighth plus 4 eighth. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 eighths. It's not even correct. And it doesn't have the same numbers as the problem, the word problem. For C, it says 2 eighths plus 2 eighths plus 4 eighths equals 1. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 8 eighths. That does equal to 1. But it's not using the the numbers. I mean, it is using the numbers from the word problem. So this is a possible answer. For D, it says 2 eighths plus 4 eighths plus 4 eighths equals 1. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 eighths, it's greater than 1. So, and it's not using the same words. I mean, the same numbers as the word problem so that leaves us with answer choice c okay guys that's all for today i hope you found my content useful and be sure to like and subscribe for more ela and math content i really work hard on creating this videos and it would mean a lot to me if you continue to support my channel and help it grow so i could teach more people about this about these subjects. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!